Congress of Vienna was uh, sort of an all-star negotiating event. It was um, the first major uh, get-together of all of the heads of Europe. At the end of the Napoleonic Wars, Europe had been turned totally upside down by Napoleon. And the heads of Europe got together to redraw the borders. France, of course, had just been defeated. And uh, France's foreign minister was able to pull off one of the greatest negotiating upsets in history by using a division between the victorious allies to reinsert himself as a major player and, and secure France's um, stature on, 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 the, on the world stage. It's often a weaker party uh, can capitalize on divisions or differences of interest between uh, the, the, the other counterparties. What uh, the French foreign minister did, and something that we can use and take advantage of in our everyday lives, is he saw that the other people across the table had different interests from each other. And when their division became apparent, he realized that he could throw his weight to one side or the other and tip the balance in their favor. And that gave him tremendous uh, leverage, which he used to his advantage. If there's a division, and you see this in politics occasionally as well, uh, the person who throws their weight and tips the balance uh, gets a great deal of power. And, and, and even um, someone who starts out at a disadvantage can multiply their, their, their leverage that way. I mean, generally the last congressman or senator to sign on to a vote that's very close to passing is able to get all sorts of benefits and, and, and goodies out of it because his vote becomes the necessary vote to cross the line. You see that all the time. Some people think that you should, that the smart ploy is to wait until the very last moment, until they really need your vote um, before, before making your move. If, if that's your game, then, then, then sure. Mm -hmm.